Hey guys, this is Manak and uh, you are watching Swim Pro. So uh, today we'll make a steel truss of warehouse in the Tecla Structural Designer. So we'll see how to do that. First of all, we have the Tecla Structural Designer. It is the educational version. And I already made a video on how to download this education version. You can download this version for 365 days. So uh, download it. And uh, when we just uh, we click on new to open a new file, uh, I could just make a new file. And uh, first thing we need to do, we need to go to the models and go to the construction levels. And here we just need to define the levels for a foundation level, we'll define it below. Uh, let the foundation level be at uh, no, that minus uh, 1.9 meters, 1.9 meters. So we'll you know, plane the plus uh, the portion from the ground to the plane, then portion from the uh, ground floor below. Uh, right? If it's 1.5 meter and, and uh, 0.4 for from the ground level to the plane level. So we'll consider, so that's why 1.9. And uh, this base, this uh, structure base, we'll consider as the plinth level. And uh, we'll insert one level above it, insert above. And this uh, spacing uh, will give as uh, uh, 3.5 meters in the warehouse, 3.5 meters. And we'll just uh, make another level. Uh, we'll make it, uh, you can make it uh, SSL or a TOS uh, structure slab level. And you can make it as, as a TOS also, top of steel. So no need to do that, okay? Top of steel, you can do is two and insert above another level. We'll insert and this spacing will be your 1.5 meter. 1.5 meter will be the maximum level of the truss which we are going to make. Okay, so just uh, click on uh, OK here and uh, let's model the truss for us in the structure 3D and this is the structure base. Okay, so in the structure base, we'll create the you know frame or uh, using the rectangular wizard. You can create it uh, just. Uh, Click on next and next, and uh, here click on next, and uh, in here x direction. Uh, see if we just click on one, and it's pretty pretty easy to know. This is the x direction, and this is the uh, y direction. Okay, uh, you can uh, know the coordinates of just changing from here. So x direction we want one, and uh, the length uh, between the two, you know, this uh, truss, it's uh, six meter. You can just change it six meter, seven meter. Let's take six point five meters, right? Uh, it's an industrial building. 6.5 meter just click on next and then this uh, y coordinate and the zooming in and zooming out and adjusting the you know this element with the help of mouse middle button okay this uh, you can just uh, keep it six five i'll just let's keep it as five right or, or let's keep it as uh, you know nine okay this is a you know industrial truss here and uh, you can just increase or decrease the value like this click on next and then click on next and then click on finish so our grids, uh, which we wanted, is uh, ready here. You can check in the structure 3D. This is the grid. You check, go back in the structure base. Now there are various ways to do it. And if you want to just uh, simply uh, to do a truss, I'll show the simplest one first. Just click on truss here. So uh, when you click on this, uh, you know, truss option, it, you know, allows you to place your truss. But you can see this uh, particular truss has uh doesn't have columns in it so you have to make the columns first okay so you can make steel columns or you can make your concrete columns so we're going for steel columns you can see uh here steel uh columns here and uh we're going to select just to select on this column and after that you can just uh um all the settings are in indian settings uh indian code settings uh by default it will change the settings uh, go to home and uh, in, in this particular setting and this and then this model settings you can change it uh, you'll find the concepts uh, sections of various countries here available but i'm not going to go with the indian sections here uh, it's uh, pretty much the same with the entire process so here i'll just click on a new section i want a new section so uh, i want a you know a hollow uh, circular uh, section here so circular hollow section and I'm going to go with, uh, let's say, I'm going to go with 50H, right? I'm going to select this. And uh, in my hollow circular section, I'll just select uh, this this part. And I'll just select this part. So let's go in the structure 3D. What is the change which you see here? So you can see here, this is the, well, these are the columns which have been created. Now, what you can do, you can just uh, select uh, like this. All these supports have been selected as you can see make this as fixed because we want uh, if we want to design foundation we need to make uh, have this uh, moments and all so we can make this fixed 
And now if you want to change the size, just click on this, everything is selected here. And uh, here, uh, just uh, change this size. So just go with uh, here, uh, 300 H1, right? Select. So the size has been changed, as you can see, click on escape. So this size has been changed, you can see circular sections here. Now you can just uh, pro provide the you know truss here and uh, you can provide a truss and you can also provide the beams in the base level or the plinth level here first. So I, what I'm gonna do, and I'm going to just uh, go and select the you know, steel beams and the steel beams here, since uh, I'm going to go with ISMB sections and you can change the grade of steel as well. I'm going to go with this ISMB sections and I'm going to just make a steel frame here like this. So this is a steel frame made uh, like this. And uh, you can go ahead and just uh, provide some steel decks here as well. So uh, slab on beams and uh, you can find the option of, you know, steel deck, right? So you can find the option of steel deck and this steel deck also you can just configure the thickness and the depth. I'm going to go with 150 mm depth uh, here, okay, for the steel deck. And I'm going to provide the steel deck here. So like this, you can provide the steel deck. So as, uh, as you can see, these steel decks have been provided. You can just press Ctrl plus Z to see again. And uh, here, as you can see, you can just uh, go to new slab also. And uh, uh, what are the options we have? You can see here the option. You can just pay, make the two-way slab also because this is a two-way step fly size. If you just uh, consider the aspect ratio, it is less than two, so it's a two-way slab. Okay, so. This, as you can see, finally, this has been done. And uh, also, if we just go to the next level, just go to structure, just click on levels and go to the structure one level. And in the structure one level, just uh, click on this beam again. And uh, here, uh, you can go with the uh, ISMB 350, or you can just, since this is the roof beam, you can go a little bit higher size. Let's go with 500 and uh, just uh, do this. And this beams are done, as you can see in this uh, particular option, these beams have been done. So now I'm going to make the truss and uh, you can mm, see how the truss works. And after that, you can see it, okay? So uh, now I'm just going to click on Ctrl plus Z to just remove it. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to structure one, beam has been already been selected. I'm going to just going to make the beam for this portion because in this portion, I already have my truss, which I'm going to provide, right? Just click on escape and I'm going to just uh, select on the truss. Now you can uh, generally we select the first option. Okay, select this and then just uh, select this part, right? So as you can see, uh, this shape has been a little bit, uh, you know, just curved here. So you see that it is not proper. Just uh, close it and again, just click on this truss option again, just move it a little bit sideways and carefully. Just select this, as you can see the beam intersection and rotate it with the help of right mouse middle button and select the proper position. So that's why I've shown you. Select the proper position and then, and then when you click on next and you see that this is the straight. So this is correct. Just click on next and then uh, you can just change the division. I prefer, uh, you know, generally we have this power truss or this, uh, you know, this Pratt truss. So I mean, these two are the commonly um, type of truss which you see. So it's better to go with this. So I'll go with how it rests and I uh, can go with four division, five division and uh, or three division as per your preference. So I'll go with three division on both sides, right? Three division on both sides. Don't want to just make too many uh, things. Height, we had given 1.5 meter in the levels. Here also will be 1.5 meter and then click on finish. And here also there are other options also. So, so, so if you want to make this a rectangular uh, circular section also, you can also do that. Select as the truss has been selected, right? The section. Uh, you want to just to make this circular section, circular hollow section, and uh, you can just uh, do it. Suppose I want to go with uh, here, uh, uh, let's go with uh, 135M and select. So as you can see, only the top one has been uh, changed here. Just click on escape. And then you can see this truss shape. Uh, the top one has been, the, this, this portion is even the same. The top portion changes now steel truss if you just do steel truss internal spans and then 
you can just change the section as well and uh, circular section and uh, you can just do this 135H which we had done to that and then select. So the internal ones also now change. Now only the bottom one remaining. So we'll keep the bottom one like this, right? So here, once this uh, truss is made, make sure you just validate the model because mm, sometimes there are overlap errors. So here, as you can see, there are no overlap errors uh, as per now. And another thing you can observe it, that's we don't need, you know, this columns up to this far level. So I'm just going to select, uh, you know, just going to go to the front view and select this column like, like this. And uh, top level, I'll just do this one. So the columns are now here. Again, just validate the model, no intersection. So we are good to go, right? Select this truss and then uh, use go to edit option, go to copy, and then uh, you can just uh, move it aside. If it disturbs you, just uh, you can copy it to all the spans, right? So now it has been, uh, you know, copied in all the spans here. And you can see the truss uh, is copied here. And now you can go to your, you know, your model. And in the model, you can select here. You can see there what are the options here. There you have the brace, you have the X brace. And, uh, you know, you have this, uh, uh, you know, this can provide these views as well. If you well, just show you the X brace uh, system, I've clicked here, I've clicked here, and I've clicked here. So here, you know, a bracing has been, like you can provide a bracing like this. I'll just uh, do it again and uh, click here. So uh, create a bracing, so, uh, like this a bracing can be provided. But now what I'll do, I'll just go and uh, select, go for your uh, particular beam option. And uh, in the beam uh, option, we'll just uh, go here and uh, select a particular section here. So here, uh, we are just going to go, we can go with a particular section, like uh, since we are using a round section, so we'll go hollow circular section and we'll use, uh, let's say here 100 M or 110 uh, H and then select here. And then you can just uh, join this particular, absolutely left click, single click and then double click and then the single click and then double click like this, you can just uh, do it, this. So you need this uh, supports for providing the, you can provide bracing as well. I'll just show you in another video. Right now I'm just uh, doing it by normal method and I'll make the second part, click on escape. And after that, again, uh, along this uh, plus, I'll also provide a, Okay, so uh, the connection design cannot be done in this software. Connection design, you have to do yourself what there is another software connection designer. I don't have the software, so I'll rather show you to you how to design the connection. And the connection design as per Indian codes is not done there. You know, other codes like, uh, you know, US code you can do in this in that connection designer. So that is also a good feature. Hopefully, uh, you know, all other codes also connection design software will come. So. So like this, you have to model. And after modeling, the next step is to apply the loads, right? So load application is there. Click on escape. One part has been done. And rotate with the elbow right mouse button, right? Uh, I can mirror it, but I'll just do it like this. And you have to be very careful, like uh, you then cannot if you do at wrong points, this modeling takes time. Whatever you do, this modeling takes uh, some time. Now, in the case of truss, especially, click on escape and uh, click on this beam again. And this, like, I think I choose the wrong one, as you can see. It's a little bit mistake, you can, you have to tend to select, you have to just uh, choose the right angle where you can do it and then do it. So it's pretty easy. Once you get the hang of it, it's uh, pretty easy this uh, job and do it easily.
but you have to be careful not to just uh, click on anything else okay so like this you can do it and then the important thing uh, which you have to do uh, you are in model right so just click on group panel and we'll add the group panels here just uh, you have uh, clicked on the roof panel here and uh, in this roof panel point one and uh, carefully select the point two right and carefully select this point three and this is point four just double click on it roof panel one done and then time for the roof panel two carefully select this point this point and uh, this point and in this point double click click on escape and our roof panel is done click on validate to know if there is any error or all okay roof panel this uh, roof panel has been done here uh, like this and uh, this uh, trust modeling is you know done here next step is the designing and uh, an application of the loads we'll apply the loads here uh, first of all uh, i'm just going to uh, design it by self right? and then in the next video i'll just design it with the help of flow. So uh, first of all, we'll just go to your loading and then load combination and then uh, generate. Only by self it is see, uh, uh, design and see, administrative combinations are there. Next and finish and then click on okay. And uh, then uh, we'll just uh, see here, uh, your go to, we'll go to design and uh, uh, design all static you can just press or design steel static also you can do i'll prefer design all static it designs everything so if you just click on this uh, design all static you'll see uh, the results here and uh, since this is you know this is not we're not applying much loads so the section c you can see automatically the sections which you don't need they automatically reduces right and uh, this will not be the case like when you just uh, provide the earthquake load and uh, your uh, other load combinations as well this uh, scenario will be changed so we'll see that in the next video but in this video you see how to basic process of modeling the trust and also designing with the help of self load uh, to how to provide the other loads what loads we need to provide here and how to design uh, the loads as per indian codes and also if you get it designed by indian codes you can also be able to design other codes as well we'll show you and uh, maybe you can make other videos of uh, us and uh, uh, European course okay so thanks for watching the video and keep learning and uh, drop a like because it really helps the channel bye bye